It's a story with some eerie similarities to the high-profile Gabby Petito case. A Cheatham County family desperate to find their loved one missing for several weeks, now known to be traveling across the country with her boyfriend, wanted out of Cheatham County. Stephanie Langston spoke with a family member of Nikki Alcaraz and has the latest details in their efforts to find her. I don't know what to do anymore. The family of 33-year-old Nikki Alcaraz, who is also known as Nikki Cunningham, feels as though they have exhausted their search efforts. I talk to her, you know, almost every day. So I am scared, you know, something happened to them. It's been nearly three weeks since Tony Alcarez last talked with her sister, who had set out in her black Jeep with her boyfriend, Tyler Stratton, and a dog to visit family in Orange County, California. It's a trip she's done hundreds of times. You know, our uncle is still in Southern California. And she goes to see him often. But in New Mexico, the couple got into a fight, according to a May 4th Torrance County Sheriff's Office report. A witness saw Tyler punch Nikki in the face. The report goes on to say Tyler claimed he was also hit with blood coming from his mouth and nose. However, neither wanted to press charges, according to the report, and were given rides with Nikki dropped off in Moriarty, where she called her sister. She was crying and upset. Her eye was already turning black and... You could tell she was beat up pretty bad. Tony wishes police would have arrested both of them, saying then maybe the couple wouldn't be missing today. And I just feel like maybe the correct steps weren't necessarily taken. Tony says shortly after the fight, a family friend drove to New Mexico where he met up with Nikki. That morning when they were supposed to leave, she told him that she had to go back and find Tyler because she had a bad feeling. And so he left without her. Tony believes that friend was the last person to see her sister on Saturday, May 6th. Nikki did, however, communicate with Tony via text two days later, saying she was in Arizona with plans to complete the trip to California. And then... I, I didn't hear anything else after that Monday morning. While her phone now appears to be out of service, the family fears the worst. I don't think she is, you know, dead out there somewhere, but it, it's all possibilities at this point. Now, of course, she says she's praying that that's not the case, adding that Nikki does have two children here in Cheatham County. The family filed a missing persons report in New Mexico where Nikki was last seen. But tell me, a license plate reader picked up her Jeep near Flagstaff, Arizona on May 9th, and that's the last they've heard. The Cheatham County District Attorney General tells me his office has requested nationwide extradition on Nikki's boyfriend, Tyler Stratton. There is a warrant for his arrest for failure to appear on a probation violation that stems from a theft charge. Mark. All right, Stephanie.